Our goal throughout the CQM is to make it something that anyone can understand simply is, you know, if we do this per minute, that equals this. And to really go through the whole process that way. There's proof of what we're trying to do. There's a documented process that we can ensure what, what we're doing with them is consistent, that we have hygienically clean product, that if we make a mistake on delivery, here's what we're going to do to change that so that we can deliver it correctly the next time. But to have uh, a plan for how to be successful that you can share with somebody and that they understand, we're in the relationship business. So getting to know the customers really well, where they're comfortable giving us that feedback rather than being frustrated. I think people understand that there's going to be mistakes that happen in any service. So if the intent is to eliminate those mistakes and keep getting better, you've got to get feedback on what the mistakes are so you can fix them. The way I see it from the production side, we're not just hanging clothes, right? We're delivering high quality product and that's why it's important for us to have this system in place. It's the foundation, it's how everything starts, it's, it's the core of uh, what we do here. Right? So without it, it's not gonna work. So it's like the key element of, of being who we are. We think it's a differentiator um, in trying to make those attempts to work with their system. And with our customers having total quality management systems, um, being able to integrate with them and see how our system can impact theirs and vice versa uh, is really a good marriage uh, when it works right. If you were building a house and you had a contractor, if he didn't have your plans, would you just trust him to build a house if he didn't want it? It lays out essentially everything we need to do from the soil dock all the way through sorting the clothes. Overall, it's just it's holding ourselves to a standard.